Hey guys, welcome back. So as you can probably tell, I like to typically wait at least three days before I wash my hair so it'll get a chance to get all those natural oils running through and all that good stuff. So lately I've been using the Matrix Total Results Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. These are great if you have dry, frizzy hair. So I actually shampoo my hair twice and then I condition it. And I like to wash my hair at the beginning of my shower so the conditioner has time to sit in my hair. Once I get out, I just towel dry my hair, squeeze out the excess moisture, and then put my hair up in a towel while I go get dressed. And then, again, just squeeze out any excess moisture. And then I brush through my hair with my wet brush. This is amazing. You need this if you have dry, damaged hair. It's great. So I just brush through to get out any tangles, so that way, as my hair is drying, it'll dry nice and smooth. Next, I take this Nascent Hair Elixir, and I just take about one to two pumps of this in my hand, and then I just run it through the mid shaft and ends of my hair. Again, just so that way as my hair is air drying, it won't get super frizzy. So then I just clip up my hair, and I like to leave it for as long as I possibly can so that it can air dry most of the way. So after at least an hour or so has passed, then I move on to the blow drying process. I take my heat protectant, lately I've been using the one by Chi, it's a really, really great drugstore heat protectant. So I just spray that all over my hair and then I will just roughly blow dry it to get at least like 90% of the moisture out of my hair. The drier your hair is, the stronger it'll be, so not only will this just help cut down the whole process, but it will also make sure that my hair doesn't get damaged when I am blow drying it with the round brush. Then I start sectioning off my hair, working from the bottom up. If you're still kind of new to this and having a hard time, then just work in really small sections. That'll give you the best control. I also really suggest using a nozzle on your blow dryer. That will also give you a lot of control and it'll help concentrate the heat so that way your hair is not coming out super frizzy. Then I just grab my round brush and as you can see, I just start twirling it under. Since my hair is still kind of on the short side, I don't want it to flip out or do anything weird, so that's why brushing it under just helps it lay nice and smooth. And I do have my blow dryer on the hottest heat setting and the strongest power. Also notice how I'm pointing my blow dryer in a downward position. That'll make sure that I'm just going with the flow of my hair so everything will just lay nice and smooth and I'm not creating any frizz. When you're doing this, you also wanna make sure that you are keeping the blow dryer pretty close to your hair, but not directly touching it. Also make sure you keep the blow dryer moving at all times. You don't wanna be concentrating too much heat on one spot for too long, cause that could damage your hair. So it's pretty simple and straightforward. You wanna just keep repeating this technique until you get to the very top section of hair. So once I get to the top section of hair, I take my two fingers and I start kind of where the arch of my eyebrows are and I just bring them back to create a mohawk section like this. And I just clip that out of the way for now. And then the remaining sections of hair, I just blow dry the same way I did everything else. So once I get to that top mohawk section, I like to divide it up into three more sections. So I start parting it across horizontally and I start from the back up to the front. Then I grab my L'Oreal Blowout Spray and I spray this at the root. This stuff is amazing for adding a lot of volume to the hair. So then I just grab my round brush and I start blow drying my hair towards my face and upward. And again, try to point your blow dryer in the same direction that your hair is going. And then I repeat the exact same thing for the second section. And then for the final section, I spray it at the root the same exact way, but then I twirl it away from my face. 
This is not only going to give a lot of really nice volume to those front bang pieces, but parting it this way as I'm blow drying it will allow me to do any part I want. So I can part it down the middle, off to the side, whatever I want to do, my hair will just literally go in any direction. Also by blow drying your hair away from your face this way is how you create that really pretty swoopy style in the front of your hair. So here you can kind of see what I was talking about, how my hair can literally part any way I want it. I can do it down the middle, I can do an extreme side part or a less extreme side part, and either way my hair has a lot of volume and it doesn't lay funny or anything. So then I take that hair elixir once again, I just take about one pump of it this time and just run that through the ends of my hair. This will just really smooth everything out make it look nice and sleek and shiny. So moving on to styling my hair, probably like 95% of the time I do wear clip-in extensions. So the ones I've been wearing lately are Hair Secrets, I think. They're not necessarily my favorite extensions, but they just happen to be the ones that match my hair color right now. So I will put a link in the description to a video I did showing you how I clip in my extensions and blend them and all that stuff if you're interested. So lately my heat styling tool of choice has been the Sapphire 8-in-1 Curling Wand by Irresistible Me. I love this thing. It comes with eight different barrels that are all interchangeable. So you can create so many different looks with just the one tool as opposed to having to buy like eight different curling wands. And it's really nice because the barrels all come in this really nice case. So it's really great for traveling too. So I'm just going to choose my barrel. Since I have shorter layers, I typically like to go with a barrel that's a little bit on the smaller side. And I don't know exactly the diameter of this one I'm using, but just from eyeballing it, I would guess it's probably about half an inch. So just pop that in and it's super easy to lock into place. And then I just adjust it to the heat setting I want. I typically set mine at around 400 degrees it does go up to 450 though so lately I always use the glove that comes with the curling wand I never used to use these things before but I just feel like they're so much easier they make the whole process so much faster you don't have to worry about accidentally burning yourself so I will just grab random sections that are probably about an inch wide and wrap them around the barrel I'm sure you've seen a million people do this. I mean, there's nothing crazy about this technique. The only thing that's a little different is I change the direction that I'm curling my hair. So the first section I will curl away from my face, then the next one I will curl towards my face, and so on and so forth. This way, the curls don't all just curl up together into one big wave. It'll keep some dimension in the hair. So I just keep repeating this all over my head until my hair is as curled as I want it to be. And then when I'm doing my front bang section, I do it more or less the same way I do when I'm blow drying it. I grab it all in one piece and then I curl it up and away from my face. This way it'll create that little swoopy effect that I like and it'll also allow me to part my hair whichever way I want because honestly I tend to change up my part on a daily basis. So then I just finger comb through my hair. I like for it to look a little bit messier and more tousled and if you want to put any hairspray or product in it at this point then you can. I typically don't do that because I don't really feel like I need it and I don't really like the feeling of product in my hair honestly. But that is it for this look. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you'd like to see more hair tutorials, then give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.